What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and enjoy 24 hours of daylight in Norway. As I've said before, this does not happen in America. This is not a thing. I didn't know that this was possible until I started looking at YouTube videos about Norway that there were places on Earth. It makes kind of more sense to me now, but there are places in Norway where it's the sun is up. It's daylight for 24 hours. It's just always. And, and in this case, in this video, in Tromso, it's about how there's no sunset for two months in Tromso. Two months. The sun never goes down. There's no nighttime. It, does, it makes no sense to me. It's honestly like one of the more incredible, it's almost like a natural wonder or something. Like it's amazing uh, that there are places that do this. It's like, do you have the best blackout curtains in the world like for your bedroom so that you can get to sleep anyway this video <laughs> kind of documents and shows how the sun doesn't go down and and how it's always sunny and i thought this would be just so interesting to take a look at so let's see tromso norway summer 2022 in the evening at 7 p.m. This is 7 p.m. The evening is still as bright as the day. What? It's... I don't know what I expected to see. But somehow seeing this is... It makes my brain, like, hurt and confused. Because it... This is like the dead of normal daylight, and it's 7 p.m. It's one of the largest cities in the Arctic Circle, with a population of around 77,000 in the whole municipality. Wow, so I guess the whole community just gets used to this. There's two months in the year where it's just always sunlight. Arctic Circle is the northest part of the Earth. Okay, right. I know you have to be located very, very, very far north for this to happen. So there's Tromso. Okay. Since Tromso is located in the Arctic Circle, the nights don't turn dark in the summertime. The nights don't turn dark. You know, I don't know if I really appreciated the fact that there's no night nighttime. It doesn't turn dark for Two months! Two months! Unreal. <laughs> it would just throw off your whole... Your whole internal sense of what time it is, right? It would just throw you off. Like, it'd be so weird. Uh, going up the hill with Jelheisen cable car at 11.30. This is 11.30! That, oh my... This is 11.30 p.m. Look, the sun is just barely, barely down. It looks like a sunset. Kind of like a sunset. Wow, this is beautiful, by the way. Like, I'm a little distracted by it being daytime at daylight at uh, 11.30 at night. But this whole scene, this is beautiful, by the way, the mountains. What the heck? Tromso, Norway. Few minutes before midnight. A few minutes before midnight. It's unreal. Let's take a walk around to see the city from the top of the hill before the sun set at 12.15. So, how low does the sun get at sunset? Because it never goes down, right? Never fully goes down. Look at this place. It's pretty cool. This is midnight. So really this just ends up looking like a really, really beautiful sunset with the sun just barely like on the horizon. That's like as far down as it goes. 
Yeah. It gets low. Yeah, like that. Like, it gets low, but I guess never lower than that? So weird. Like, all these people, the people filming this are up, and it's midnight. But it probably doesn't even feel, they probably don't even feel that tired. Because daylight, daylight does something to you, like, chemically. Like, to your body. It makes you feel awake. Like, having sun on you. That's what I mean where I say, it'd be kind of tough to get a good routine of going to bed. Unless you, like, <laughs> blocked out all your windows. Turned off all the lights, block out all the windows, try to get to bed, try to pretend that it's dark out. This is pretty amazing. And the fact that it's like gorgeous, beautiful scenery with mountains and the lake is just like icing on top. <laughs> just makes this more incredible looking. Yep, so that's the lowest it goes. Oh, there it is, like, um, past midnight. Why is everyone awake, by the way? <laughs> I just realized, shouldn't everyone be in bed? Like, I understand the guy filming this video is awake right now. There's a guy on a boat. Well, I guess when you have daylight all the time, you can just choose when to go to bed. Time lapse of the sun's descent to the lowest point. Oh, okay, here's the lowest point. This is the lowest point, okay. Around 12.15? Or 15? In America, we'd say 12.15. Okay. It's going sideways. It's literally going sideways. Wow. The sun hovering above the horizon and slowly rising for the new day. Yeah, it just gets close to the horizon and never goes down. Ridiculous. What, what did humans think about this like 500 years ago, a thousand years ago when they lived here, humans who lived here and were like, why is it sunlight all the time? Have we been cursed by like a god or something? They were probably so confused because they didn't understand the science behind it. Wow. There seem to be quite a few people awake because uh, I see a lot of boats and people walking around at, at midnight. I guess when the sun's always up, why not? <laughs> this is a nice place. Walking downhill back to the city since the cable car has made its last descent. Oh, they have to walk back down. Well, it's kind of a nice hike, honestly. Yeah, this is actually beautiful. Like, hiking back down into the city. This is like the ridiculously picturesque. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, there's some stairs too. Okay. Are they just are they just walking for a while? The stairs are pretty steep and some are even covered with snow even in the summertime. Oh. Yeah. There is snow in the summertime even with daylight all day. There's still snow. That is kind of funny. So right now it's like literally 1 a.m. in the morning and it is broad daylight. Wow, look at this picture. That's insane. This is a this is like a beautiful picture. Early morning on Saturday in the city, around 2.30 a.m. The locals have just gotten out of the bars. <laughs> right, right. Like, here, when you're getting out of the bar at 2 a.m., it's daylight, at least in the summer. 
That is funny. That's so weird. It must be weird, though, even for the locals, because this isn't all year. This only happens two months out of the year. So ten months out of the year, it's normal. So this is still probably strange to the Norwegians. If you are in Tromso, take a nice walk in the beach. It is beautiful and very peaceful. Yeah? Looks pretty cool. I mean, the mountains are kind of what are amazing to me. Because, like, you really don't find mountains like that in most of America. Unless you happen to live by the Rocky Mountains or something. Oh, look. But this lake is great as well. Yeah. Very peaceful. <laughs> He's right. This is very peaceful. And this little projection thing. Oh, and there's a bench. There's a bench at the end. How fun. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is really cool. This doesn't even have anything to do with uh, 24 hours of light. <laughs> this, this is just like, hey, this place is beautiful. Although it is 2 a.m. right now, and he's able to film because the sun is always up, even at 2 a.m. Yep. Pretty insane. Pretty insane. Wait, what are, like, what's that little kid doing awake at 2 a.m.? Or whatever time it is. There's like a little kid awake. It's like no one goes to bed around here because it's always daylight. <laughs> Okay. Maybe, is this your house? Maybe it's just some picturesque scenery for us to enjoy. Yeah, there is a lot of snow, actually, even in the summer. Hmm. Okay. Wow. I, I don't know what I expected, but somehow seeing the light like this and knowing that it's midnight it's just strange for me to even look at. Like, I can't make the connection. It's, it, my brain is saying it's not right. <laughs> this was by Good Stuff. I liked this. That was really cool. Like, there's no easy way to, like, give this experience to someone, but this video did a pretty decent job at, like, giving me an experience of, okay, it's midnight in Tromso, and it, it's daylight, and the sun's th getting low, but never d never completely goes away. It's always in sight, and it almost goes sideways, and th then the sun goes up. And that's it. It's just always sun. Always daylight. This is... <laughs> when I first heard about this being possible, I was like, Really? And people live in these places? And it, it probably messes with them, but there's also something strangely enchanting about it, strangely like surreal and beautiful about never-ending sunlight at in the middle of the night. It's it's really cool. Like this, I actually really enjoyed this video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, Things in Norway that I have never seen, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.